I point to it. Okay, so the, so you guys are familiar with the Green Point oil spill? Has anybody heard that phrase before? Okay, so there's basically the short of it, the second largest oil spill in U.S. history lies underneath Green Point, uh, directly, you know, to the right side of the boat here. And it wasn't a spill like you would have with the Exxon Valdez or the BP disaster, where it was a single incident. It was basically something that was discovered years after it happened. And um, what it was essentially was all this property was owned by Standard Oil. They had tons of refineries here. And they had a number of accidents and explosions and misuse, poor handling of their product on the site. And in the late 70s, there was a Coast Guard uh, aerial survey Sorry. Oh, okay. There. Um, of the area, and they, and they noticed on Newtown Creek that there was this massive plume of uh, oil coming off of the uh, one of the street ends up ahead, and they started doing an investigation, and they realized like, wow, there's an entire lake of oil underneath Greenpoint, and it's seeping into the creek. So that began the realization of this Greenpoint oil spill, and um, what is about 17 to 30 million gallons of oil that's mixed in with groundwater and it's underneath this section that's both industrial as well as residential. So there's actually people whose houses are on top of this plume uh, of oil. And they began cleaning it up and following a couple lawsuits uh, about 10 years ago from the state as well as the Riverkeeper organization, they invested a little bit more uh, to start cleaning it up. And so what they do is essentially they have about 20 recovery wells placed throughout the area, basically from here all the way to the BQE we see in the distance and uh, over a hundred monitoring wells to see like where the oil is, uh, the water, you know, the water table depths and all that. And they pump out of those 20, uh, 20 wells, they pump oil through a series of pipes to two different facilities. And one of them's right here, this gray building with the red stripe on top. Um, I think those are the, the Exxon colors. And um, that building, they, they bring the groundwater that has the oil mixed in with it. They clean it out, they separate it, and they discharge the clean water which is what we paddled past earlier. And so there's a discharge there from that building and there's another one uh, near the BQE, another building and another discharge point. So it's about a million gallons a day of clean water that they're taking up from the aquifer, cleaning the oil out of and discharging here. In terms of product recovered, they've removed about 12 and a half million gallons to date of crude oil uh, underneath the area here. And it's about $70,000 of product a year. They're actually able to capture it because it's crude oil take it to a refinery and use it. Uh, their operation costs, costs much more than that, so they're not, uh, they're not making money. But they are essentially drilling up oil from the neighborhood.